Hello fellow heisters and welcome to a new snapshot at Overkill. My name is Simon, producer on Payday 2 and today we are talking about the Crime Street feature which just got released today. With me, Jules, who I don't think I need to first introduce to you, but if you don't know him so far, Jules game design for Payday 2. So, talking about Crime Tree, what is Crime Tree? So the Crime Tree feature is a new feature for the high-end players that's only available after a certain level. When they uh, choose to play on the features, they're able to select out of three random heists what to play. When they successfully complete any of these heists, they are of course presented with three new random highs to choose from to be able to play, but there's also a twist because they have to choose a new mutator to apply to the crime three they play, which will increase the difficulty of every high they play going on forward. In a nutshell, what is the goal? What will the heists try to achieve during a crime spree? So this is basically a PvE ladder that the player are able to climb because it gets ever ever more difficult for the player to do so. And there's no there's no limit to how difficult this can get as it's pretty much endless. So players that can basically play this feature are able to compare each other, see how far they can go, as well as putting a score for themselves, seeing can I do the next size, can I get better to go further into the feature. What kind of rewards can the players expect by completing crime stories? Um, yeah, on top of all the usual heisting rewards, money, experience, continental coins and uh, loot drop, we have new cosmetic rewards for the player. Basically, we have armor skins, uh, which is a new cosmetic type, of course. And we have a unique mega mask for people that reach the highest level of this ladder. So, that is the crime spree. Everything more you need to know or whatsoever. If you have questions, feedback, we can't wait to hear what you think about it. Later today, Jules will do a stream again, um, play Crime 3 for sure, and try to answer all your questions as good as he can. So gather them and try to bombard him with all the questions on the stream. In the meantime, many thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, and we we'll see you there. I am seriously confused if they, like, when were you, because they te they keep talking about things that they were going to, like, do, like, they've already did the live stream is the thing. I don't really understand how these videos work. Mm, Petty to producer Simon Meets, uh, Overkill's game designer Jules to talk about the new game mode Crime Spree between April 3rd, okay, we already talked about all this. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back to another Petty to video today, we're going to be talking about the new... Crime spree slash other things update. And uh, yeah, this is pretty exciting for a lot of people. This is exciting for me because this finally adds something new into the game. So I don't have to sit there and play the same contract or have to, you know, it, 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 it adds a bit more variety into the game. And I think for a lot of pro players, maybe, you know, some old time veterans, this is going to be a way for them to get back into it and maybe f for some new players, you know. Anyways, let's look into here. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I feel like I'm com some kind of sports commenter or something bullcrap. Anyways, moving on. We got day four, new game mode is live. Uh, how high can you go? Hi, sirs. Today we introduce a whole new game mode for you. The crime spree and crime, or, yeah, the crime spree. In crime spree, you can chain heist and, uh, basically go up the ranks. Uh, the higher you go, the more you get. We also, uh, you are a very stylish audience, so we thought, why not letting them heist with even more style? Therefore, we are introducing armor skins. Everybody knew this was going to happen. Well, almost everybody. I knew that they were going to release this. Um, they did not tell me. I was looking at the forums and I saw a guy talking about how the armor types looked a bit different. And it basically was like, oh, they're going to release armor skins. Now, we don't know for sure. Well, actually, I think we do know for sure. Uh, we'll check in a bit down below. But I think this is not... This isn't a free thing, sort of. Anyways, moving now. Uh, together with one new armor safe. Yeah, see, there we go. I should have read a bit further. But yeah, so there are now gun skins and armor skins. I don't know really... I don't really know what to say there. But hey, uh, dress up and get ready. Do you remember screen filters from Pay the Heist? 
There were screen filters. Uh, they are back, and they are and they are more. We took the seven old filters and added four more for you. Let us know what you think. If you're going to heist, do it in style. Behind the scenes, body expertise. The saga continues. We can you we continue the touch up for B E. We remove the crossbows as we don't think it should be oh, at, be as overpowered as it is in the current meta. We also told the bulldozers to ignore BE from now on <laughs> as we don't think our heaviest enemy would care about such small things as BE. The spray and pray builds that BE allows are, injured, are intended for controlling the flow of normal enemies. In in Index, wait, Linux builds, wait, oh yeah, Linux. Uh, as we continue, as we can, cur as we can, cur oh my gosh, as we currently have having build problems with the Steam OS version, we, n we will from now on build them separately. This is unfortunate, but we do this so most players can get the updates as fast as possible. We will release the Steam OS version as soon as we can, but it will most likely be the day after the PC build th throughout the whole event. Workshop for armor skins. We know that the community wants to create armor skins, and we want you to do it too. Oh, so that's what the community safe is for. Okay. Uh, and we want you to do it too. Uh, do it too. The problem is we didn't find the time so far to set up the whole system. Hopefully we can get it out soon. No worries. It's in the plan. My heister. We have seen a lot of good entries in the completion, and we are and we are looking really looking forward to seeing see more. Uh, see more. I'm gonna just say that this heister is gonna be awesome, and it's cool that we can. We get one of one from the community soon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the website and go to okay. Change log, update size, and update textures on basic cops. Change texture on the walls during the escape part of First World Bank. Added portraits to Heat Street to increase performance. Oh, that's nice. Fix an I issue with Matt on the sofa on Tier One in this new safe house. <laughs> Body expertise no longer trigger with using. Okay, yeah, everybody knows that. All right, so now we're going to go to the website. Where is it? No, yes, sorry. Okay, website. Here we go. By the way, a lot of these things were cut for me for some odd reason. Uh, so we're going to click on this. Uh, apparently, they don't have the voice lines in. Okay. Everyone was surprised to find Matt Roscoe at the... Uh, I'm not going to... I don't even know how to say that word. Uh, location. We chased him across town. It was insane. As we caught up with him, he tried to buy his life saying he had information about my son. I don't believe him, but couldn't afford not to listen, just in case if it was true. There we go. That's my boy, Wolf. That's my boy. Look at him. That's my man. He's beating, he's beating up Matt. That's a dream. Oh, he's moving on. Introdu introducing a new game mode, Crime Spree. Uh, Crime Spree is a sequence of several heists all completed back to back for a full crime life experience. The risks are greater, but so are the rewards. Uh, crime Spree stream with Overkill Jewels that ended like an hour ago. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna blame them for that. Like they probably they probably wanted to do this in a different way, but they just did not have time. So I don't blame them for that. Starting a crime spree. So I don't know really where to start talking here, but we're just going to start from here. Start off a crime spree by paying up Continental Coins. By investing Continental Coins, and if you've reached level 60, you can go on to a crime spree. On a crime spree. Crime spree is, is a set of random high selected for you, and all you have to do is complete... Uh, or is can keep completing heights. The more you finish, the greater is the reward. But it will also get more difficult as modifiers are added to make the game more uh, stressful. Let's just say that. But for those skilled enough, they there will be XP, loot drops, and cash waiting. Excuse me. So first of all, we have pay the fee here. Let's see here. So he look at little Houston right now. He has to apply the modifier. Chain heights without a break. 
The further you go, the greater the reward, but it will get harder. Day one, uh, car shop. Day two, murky water. Day three, first world bank. Day four, go bank. Day five, fire starter. Day one, day 20, uh, big oil. The heist that never ends. Get your reward. Actually, hold on. What is the... Oh, it just like, go down. Okay. Get your reward. As you complete heists, you'll climb the crime spree rank and earn more rewards. You can claim your rewards whenever you want, but it's only at certain crime spree ranks that your unique rewards await, so keep brushing. I want to claim. You get experience. Money. More money. Continental coins. Remaining loot drops. Clover mask. Other stuff that I don't know. Oh, well, that's just like the total overview. So... Um, they did say, I think in one of the videos, I think in the video that we just saw, um, that they are unique mega masks within this crime spree thing. So it gives players more of a, uh, a purpose to actually do this. So moving on. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Calm down. Armor safe. The heist is not only about lead and determination. It's about putting on a uh, terrifying, ter terrifying, ex ex that hopefully makes bullets unnecessary. Something that in fear and respecting your enemies. The Native American. Why well, had to bring up the Native Americans, man? Why well, had to bring up the Native Americans? Did it? American football players do it. <laughs> now you can make your armor look beyond, uh, yeah. Armor skins can be applied and used just as weapon skins and have obtained in the loot drop just the same. Oh, well, that's nice. So you got bone pattern. You got SWAT pattern. That's probably the most one I'm going to be using. I don't know. The bone pattern looks cool, but SWAT also does. And then you got stupid desert camel. Nobody cares. Six brand new armor skins. Screen filters. So, FYI, right? Not this one. Here, I'm going to go back to here. FYI, so day four, this is what I was also thinking that they were going to do, but I did not want to say it on, uh, well, I don't know. I w it was in the back of my head, but I just never actually thought about it. But the new visual mode is just this. And honestly, a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but I kind of like it. Anyways, moving on. Screen filters. Each heist is different. The mood, the setup, the style, and to uh, heighten, he heighten? Okay. that even further... We are introducing 12 unique screen filters for each and every heist. So now, you'll get even more immersed when you take your take on your favorite heist as everything from uh, lightness, fog, colors, and darkness can change. Default filter. It's this. That looks pretty default. And then there's uh, this one. Is it going to load? It's gonna, it's gonna, okay. There we go. This pretty much looks like Sin City. <laughs> uh, BHD. I really do like this one. Dinero. Also, if you don't know, these were actually uh, all filters in the Pay the Heist mod uh, HUD that they never actually uh, were able to put in the game. But. The, the mod did. Hipster Vintage. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Just just look how ugly it is. Look how ugly that is. In traffic. Oh. Mm-hmm. And these are the new ones. Oh my gosh. Are these seriously the new ones? 
Mad World. Who would ever play on this? <laughs> uh, let's see. Then there's this one. I'm trying to, you know, look at all of them. This kind of looks like the Matrix. I know there was a Heat one that I really wanted that never will be implemented. Wild West. Ugh. X X Gen Brown. Okay. Well, that's it for today. <laughs> um, actually, that isn't it for today. Here, let me. Because there's actually a few things that I need to do further ahead. So keep looking at that screen. Right? Because I want to see if there's actually anything that I need to look through in the subscriptions. Maybe they posted another video. If they didn't, they didn't. Um, let's see here. We're going to go to the Reddit real quick. Because there's actually something that I want to bring up in this video. Um, also, a uh, glimpse that I was right that it is... Um, it is going to be Greenbridge, and I'll show you in a bit, too, because I have, the, the video pretty much tells me that it's going to be Greenbridge, because of, they didn't, uh, they didn't hide that very well. <laughs> um, uh, okay, um, new information regarding the puzzle, okay. So, first off, we're going to put that over, and then we're going to put that over, hopefully, Okay. So, as you can see in this video, snapshot right? Snapshot at Overkill. My name is Simon, producer yep. on Snapshots. Talking about crackable after features able to successfully. Now, of course, from to twist, which will increase the difficulty of the high. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? In a nutshell, what is the goal? Darn it. What will the high? Show me the pic. The show me the footage. So this is basically a PVE ladder that the player can, are able to climb because it gets ever, ever more difficult for the player to do so. And there's no there's no limit to how difficult this can get as it's pretty much endless. Basically playable to compare of putting a score for There the it thing. is. You see that right there? Can see that right time? there? Can I... You see that orange jumpsuit? Confirms it. Confirms it. It was a green bridge. Greenbridge, I'm calling it right now. Even though I know I know it's Greenbridge, I'm calling it again. It's Greenbridge. That's Greenbridge right there. That's Greenbridge. You see this right here? Greenbridge. I get better. All Greenbridge. To the feature. See that car? That, that you can only find that in Greenbridge. 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 That's Greenbridge right there. I told everybody that they're not new heists. They were going to be the classic heists. It was confirmed from the very beginning. Oh my goodness. Anyways, yeah. So that's pretty much it on that front. Um, then we're going to go here for a second. New information regarding the puzzle and paper craft feet. So I've started a huge Reddit post now regarding this already. So I will link it here. But there is new information regarding the puzzle and the feet. There is a sign in Heat Street that, is, that has similar symbols and colors as the ones on the paper craft feet. These line up to some of the heisters correctly, or currently. I'll link the screenshot here as well. I figured I'd start another post just to make it uh, heard in case somebody haven't been to the other post yet. Reddit post here, screenshot here. Putting the <laughs> screenshot right here. So this is what we get. We get... Uh, GR great uh, deals on pies. Now, people have been saying that the feet have different colors, so there's actually a purpose to these uh, little origami kind of heisters. Um, what we've determined, or what I think the whole Reddit uh, has determined, that they're actually a point to the origamis to find the symbols and in my mind, right, I was doing this earlier, but it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I was doing the heisters in sort of names, and like then I went to shapes and everything. But I was trying to figure out how I could create a proper sentence with all of their characters. Now, what I did realize is that all of the characters don't have these letters uh, in their names. So it has to be some other angle that we ha haven't figured out yet. So keep that in mind, uh, we determined that this might be possibly because these are all the colors of the heisters. 
Now, we won't know for sure until tomorrow on Friday to figure out if this is actually true and all the heisters, uh, little paper gang, um, only have a certain amount of blue or a certain amount of green or a certain amount of yellow or a certain amount of red because all of them, right, because we have, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we have, let's see here, Dallas, Wolf, Chains, uh, Houston, John Wick, Hoxton, Clover, um, Dragon, Bonnie, Jacket. That's already 10. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And then we have this row here. So let's see here. In that row, I have to think. I have to remember all the heisters. Um... You got Bodie, Jimmy, um, Biker, and Scarface. I think I think I've named all of them. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments below if I. Oh, and Jiro. I think did I name? I haven't named Jiro. And Jiro. So that pretty much lines up that all of these are possibly all the characters' heisters because there's enough heisters to fit all of these words. I'm pretty sure or all these letters, my bad, and all the colors that represent them. So in the future, we need to see if the colors on the feet are actually mean something within these. And if so, that means that the puzzle with which in lies with each day. So what that means here is that we have the first day, we got the first bit, we got the second bit, and now tomorrow we're going to have the third bit, and then the fourth and the fifth on day nine. So keep that in mind. There's actually a point to the little heisters, I guess, the little paper craft things. Anyways, that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. I'm just going to quickly say to people who actually go to this channel, I'm sorry for not making a video yesterday. I just wasn't really feeling up to it. I was watching a, uh, a show and I just, I, I don't know, I didn't really feel up to it. So I'm sorry about that, but... Crime Spree is probably the next thing, I think, for all of us. This is probably what's going to make Payday. And once they release the Infamy Update 2, this is probably what's going to make Payday, um, I don't know, more people playing. But I'm really excited for that SWAT skin. I want that SWAT skin. I really do, because that's just kind of convenient. It's like, really? Really? You're going to wear a SWAT skin? Like, <laughs> really? Um... Do double double check on uh, things. We're going to reload real quick. Okay. We're going to go to my profile real quick too. And uh, check out the achievement progress here. Okay, yeah. So, let's see. Reach rank 50 in Crime Spree. Reach uh, rank 100. And then, re then reach 100 and, or uh, 20, 250. My bad. I'm really having a stroke right now. I'm not really having a stroke. I'm just kind of like, I I can't talk right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video thing. Oh my goodness. Ow, my bone. I don't know. But yeah, uh, hopefully the guys will get on today, hopefully, and we'll play some of the crime spree because, he come on, man. The crime spree looks fun as heck right now. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video tomorrow where we talk about more speculation, uh, theories, conspiracy theories, and what if aliens don't actually exist and it's all just a part of a big scheme with the overkill. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to go.